Hello folks, Luke Simons with you, back to the Basics 101. Honored to have you here today. There's about 4,700 of you watching per day, and a little over a half a million minutes watched per day. To be honest, I'm very hum humbled and honored that you folks are tuning in to this rambling cowboy from North Dakota. Today, we're gonna do a review on a Pittsburgh 40 inch creeper. What is a 40 inch creeper you might ask? Those of you may know. If you're ranching or homesteading, you're gonna end up doing some, some home repairs. You're gonna do some uh, fencing repairs. You're gonna do some working on cattle, etc. We wear many hats. But you're gonna end up doing some mechanic in too. That doesn't mean I'm a mechanic. I'm more of a parts changer, I guess you would think. You fix this doodad with this thingamajig with that doohickey. That's pretty much what I do. But this is a game changer in your shop. If you don't have one of these in your shop, you're really missing out. Let me show you what I'm talking this about. This is a pretty slick tool. If you don't have one, you need to get one. Now, anything that says Pittsburgh on it is from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight is not noted to have heavy duty good tools, but it's a tool that if you use it just occasionally, this is gonna get you by. And actually, I've been fairly impressed with a lot of their tools. A lot of their tools are right up there. Um, this creeper here, I have several, I have some of my grandpa's old ones, is by far the best creeper I've ever had. Now you can see my shop floor is pretty dirty. It rolls over big clumps of dirt, and, and rocks, no big deal. I've never had a creeper actually do that. I've seen some that I think would do that, but this tool is under 20 so, bucks. It has a handle on this end, which actually I'm pretty fond of. And look at these wheels here. You seen that? Look at that. Pretty simple. I bought it on sale, I think for 20 bucks or under 20 bucks. And I am just flat out impressed. This is item number 63372, item number. So you can buy it if you don't have a Harbor Freight, which I have to go 100 miles for my Harbor Freight store. Um, you can order their magazine, and that's the part number. It has a 300-pound um, rating capability. And um, I'll tell you what, I'm not close to 300 pounds, but it sure works. I'm very, very happy. And right now I'm putting all my pressure on there. And there's absolutely no given that. It has a little comfort for your head, which I find to be awesome. And you sit down in it like so. You see that? So you sit into it like so. And giving you more room to creep under your vehicle. Now this one here, I've got plenty of room and I'm replacing a starter right now. This is a third starter I put in this old girl and uh, I don't know if it's just the company, if they're not making a, a good starter or what, but uh, sure annoying. Now notice if you will, how nice that rolls under. Seeing that? And these pockets here are nice because all of my such is right under here. Now I have found that this is an awesome tool for 20 bucks. I don't simply think you're gonna find a better one for the price. This is a slick unit. I would give this a five star rating. The pockets are perfect. I'm six foot one, it fits me perfect. I am running under this pickup like no one's business. This is a simply put a nice creeper. Very nice. Well folks, some neighbors just showed up, company. We're gonna grill after I get the starter in. They're on their way up to the Quonset right now. And you folks have a good Memorial Day. Don't forget what it's all about. May the Lord guide and keep you. Until next time, this is Luke Simons. Happy trails. Who's at five starts now. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chad Mira. And I'm Lauren Culver. Thanks for watching KX News. In tonight's top story, the snow is over.
But the blizzard sure did take its toll. Steve Kirch says one rancher in Dickinson toughed it out in the pasture with his cattle. The way we are, we sell grass-fed organic beef. So because of that, they need to be out grazing. On cold winter days when the snow is falling and the wind is blowing at 30 miles per hour, rancher Luke Simons has no issue with his cattle being out in the pasture. Um, these aren't milk cows. These are range cows. They're bred to be tough. They're bred to be strong. On most days, Simons will let his cattle winter graze. And really, they do quite well. They can graze up to four-foot snowbanks. Um, so they're extremely tough, extremely hardy. But when there's a blizzard blowing through the area, he will deliver them a treat. On bad cold days, though, I can't stress, you have to feed them. You have to feed them some hay. You have to get them through. We're not talking about starving cows. They... Simon says he checks his cattle daily to see how they're holding up in the conditions, especially when there's a winter storm. Point, you check for body condition, you check for their sides to see if they're eating good forage. But if one of his cattle is looking a little rough, he will bring them in. And we do have a corral, and we do feed them hay and grain if they're sick. But on this cold winter day, Simon says things look good, and he's every bit as tough as his cattle. Boy, I don't even know how cold it is. It feels like pretty warm to me, 15 below. I don't know. <laughs> Steve Kirch, KX News. Simon says the majority of his cattle are Angus Hereford, and he sells his steer at Stockman's in Dickinson. All those Thanks living. for watching Happy, Happy Trails. Trails. You come back now, you.